KPRC 2 News begins right now with breaking news. That breaking news comes to us from downtown Houston, where HPD has concluded the internal affairs investigation into the suspended sexual assault cases scandal. And if you recall, it was back in February when more than 4,000 sexual assault investigators were suspended over a lack of manpower. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz was the first to break this story. And he joins us now live from the newsroom. Mario, is this conclusion the expected one? Well, let me clarify two quick things there. It was Chief Finner that actually helped uh, bring this to light. We have broken several developments throughout the course of our reporting, and I will tell you that Chief Finner made it very clear today, uh, actually a few weeks back to us and other members of the media, that he would have this internal affairs investigation completed by the end of the month. I asked HPD about this yesterday. They had no idea where things stood. And today, in the last hour, a statement from Finner. The lengthy comments uh, makes it quite clear that the investigation by his internal affairs is officially over and that it will now go to the Independent Police Oversight Board as well as the Administration Disciplinary Committee. However, what is not mentioned in the statement is whether or not it has gone to or has been examined by Mayor John Whitmire's Independent Review Committee. Finner says of the 4,017 cases, 516 cases that were initially suspended are now open and they remain that way. According to a statement, the department is still working through the more than 264,000 cases dating back to 2016 that have been suspended involving a variety of crimes. Again, important to note this investigation comes nearly two and a half years after Chief Finner first learned that sexual assault cases were being suspended. Finner claims he told department leadership at the time to stop using the code, but he never ordered a full on investigation as he did back in February when Chief Finner knew the department's secret was about to be made public. We, of course, look forward to speaking with Chief Finner about this investigation and its conclusion. However, he says in his statement that he will not inform Houstonians publicly about it for potentially up to two weeks. Again, two weeks that the chief will take to potentially speak on this investigation. We, of course, will be following this closely until then. And of course, if he speaks before the two weeks at any point, we will have that press conference live for you live in the newsroom. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.